<laughs> Hi, this is Stacia, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to play my chess game um, and record it at the same time. I picked a longer time control, 45 and 45. So let's see um, if this works out. I actually have fallen below 1700 again, kind of far below. So I'm going to need to play more and get that back up. I have no doubt that I can, um, but I'm just going to need to play a little more to do that and then work my way back up to, to 1800. I am learning a lot from my training games and my tournament games as of late. I even won a tournament lately or recently. But I also got destroyed in a different tournament, but I played all much higher rated people. Um, so, you know, this is what chess improvement looks like. It's a slow road and it doesn't always go according to plan. But the key, I think, is to stick with it and, keep, and learn from every single game that you play. So I don't know if I'm going to get a game at this time control. Maybe I should do 1510. Well, if I do, um, and I actually might, I'm going to not talk as much during the game. I hope you guys understand. But yeah. All right, let's, um, let's do 1510. Let's try this out, okay? Okay, I'm searching for a game. Sorry about the delay, but I have noticed that like a lot of YouTubers and um, streamers, uh, they don't even apologize for making you guys wait. So maybe you're used to it. Well, my I got an opponent. He's rated 1706. Okay, he played 1e4. Okay, so we have a game. I'm going to go e5. I'm glad you guys are with me. Let's do this. Let's win one, right? Wow, we're going to have a king's gambit. Okay, well, I take the pawn and play d5. Now, I have been facing bishop c4 a lot. Okay, no. This is the modern defense. They take, I go knight f6. Okay, so we're in theory so far. Now, I actually don't mind the King's Gambit. I played it for a good year as white myself. Um, and I hated facing this line. Yeah, I actually think the C4 line is the best way to go for white. Um, I've been playing C6 recently. I don't know if it's the right move, though. It's my own home-cooked move. I think I'm going to do it, though. Challenge the center immediately. If he takes, I take back with a knight. So we're going to do that. I'm going to take a sip of wine because I'm scared. Okay. Um, okay, knight c3. Now, I could take on d5. I think I could take. And I very well might do that. Do I have to be afraid of queen e2 check? I have bishop e7. I think I am going to take. Mm. Leaving the tension might be better. It might be. So let's see, if I don't do that, then bishop e7 maybe. And um, another move I could think about is h6. So that I can play g5 when he plays d4. I'm actually thinking about that. I do like to play that way. But after h4, it could get dicey. I'm used to my bishop on d6. So can I play bishop d6?
I think I can. I'm really leaning towards that. Bishop d6 might be best. Now, if he goes um, c5, I just take it. Takes here. I take with a knight. I'm going to try this move. It feels right to me. I'm, I'm going to try to hang on to this pawn. And I'm going to try to do h6 and g5. And... I know from experience from the white side, when black holds onto this pawn, it's really annoying because you really want to play bishop takes f4. And if you can't do that, then it's really annoying. Okay, so d4, so he wants to, um, I think he wants to play knight e5 and bishop takes f4. He'll have to castle first though. Usually there's a rook on f1. So I actually think, hmm, should I castle? His bishop's open, but I have it guarded. If I take, I wonder if he can go knight, G, knight b5. I don't think I should fear that, necessarily. All right, I'm tending to go slow. I do that when I talk to you guys. Maybe castles is fine. I know I want to go kingside. I'm not um, doing anything else. But on the other hand, um, yeah, actually, I think I might, I might castle. I don't really want to. Um, I'm threatening rookie eight check, so. This comes with a little bit of tempo. I mean, he'll go bishop b2, I guess, but. I like my position so far, but I don't like my clock situation. It's pretty normal for me. <laughs> okay. So I'm down a little bit on the clock. So let's figure out the next moves. Yeah, bishop e2. That's aimed at stopping rook e8 from being check it also stops bishop g4 now i could go h6 i could probably go c takes d5 kind of tempted to do that but also i like when takes takes well wait a minute takes knight takes d5 what am i going to do with my knight there not so sure but if i take take I do not have knight takes, so I don't think that's correct. I'm going to go ahead and play, should I play h6? He's going to castle next. I think that's what he's up to. Rookie eights a move. Okay, I'm going to go rookie eight. That's the thing about these training games I do. I don't have like tons of time to figure out what to do. So I do like to figure out the best move if I have the time. But here I feel like it's not a critical moment. Rookie 8 makes sense. I'm just going to play it. All right. So I'm expecting castles. And then I think I'll go h6. Now I'm a little worried about. Pawn takes c6, knight takes, and d5. d5, knight e5. If knight takes, rook takes, that looks fine. Okay, he did a castle. I could take on d5. But I don't see why I should do that. Okay, now knight e5 is a threat. So I'm going to go h6. h6, knight e5, g5? Can that, can that be a thing? I think so. Because knight e5 threatens to, to play bishop takes f4. So I am going to play h6 now.
Knight e5 also threatens c6. Um, I don't think I care that much if my C pawn becomes isolated, though. All right, so he, I can tell you, as a King's Gambit player, he desperately wants to play Bishop takes F4. Oh, I missed this move. I forgot about this. This might be a bad, bad thing. Okay, do I have any sort of counterattack? Miss this. Yeah, if I move my bishop away, um, d6. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. I messed up. But that happens in chess. We have to try to find the best moves we can now. I think he's going to get bishop takes f4, but it's not the end of the world. Um, we're going to have to play on. I'm seeing if I have anything forcing, but I don't think so. Thinking about bishop f8 here. I think I have to do this. This is not going to be, this is not good. Not sure why I missed that. So I have to learn how to play against the c4 move. Yep, I knew bishop takes f4 is coming. Okay. Probably I should take that pawn. I'm going to take it. And we're going to fight on from here. B6 might be a move. Might be. Because if B6 and he pushes, I take with a knight. If B6, bishop takes, rook takes. Takes, I take with a bishop. And if push. Ooh, push might be good. Right there. Hmm. Well, I, I think knight c6 is warranted. Um, I do think so. I think I'll play it. If he takes, I'm happen, happy to block that pawn. I'll have a weak c6 pawn, but it's not the easiest to attack that I can see. Um, mostly I hate that my bishop on f8 is so passive. Took. All right, well, I guess I got to take. Just checking to make sure all is well with the world. Okay, we're going to take. There's no bishop d6, at least not yet. I don't have rook b8. I'm going to have to find something good. That's surprising. Hmm.
thinking about a5. It's also knight e4. Knight e4 attacks the undefended knight. If he takes it would be really nice to get at that d4 pawn. My bishop is, um, my light square bishop should probably get involved somehow. I can't really go to f5. Um, I could play bishop e6, but I don't like it much. I'm kind of thinking about knight e5. Knight e5, knight takes, rook takes. And, um, Bishop f3, rook e6, I don't like that, I don't like any of this. Um, what about a5? a5, I want to play bishop a6. Well, if I go knight e5, maybe I can play queen h4. Maybe g3. g3. Um, a5, if he pushes, I take, knight takes. Uh, I don't like that. He's going to get the d6 square. Okay. I think I... Whoa, I actually like knight e5 the best. Let's just do this because there's a lot of game left. Okay, I can take with a rook or a pawn. If I take with a pawn, I get a pass pawn. But his bishop gets the c4 square. If I take with a rook... He can attack my, um, mm, I just saw a line, like, if I take here and he goes here and I try to snatch this pawn, he has bishop h7 check, winning my rook. So I can't do that. Um, rook takes? I think rook takes. If bishop takes, or I mean if pawn takes, um, bishop c4 makes me a little nervous. But I guess I have bishop e6. All right, I'm going to do this. I think you guys know by now that I could think forever. I am I love chess so much. I could stare at one position for 20 minutes, no problem. <laughs> I would like, I want to get to the truth of the position and that takes time. Um, so I don't think bishop c4 is that great. So um, what is he planning here? There is d5. Wow, he blockaded my pawn. <clears throat> All right, I think he's going for f7 because bishop c4 will attack. So I'm thinking about bishop e6 here. I need to develop my bishop, so let's do this. All right. Um, I might station my bishop on d5. I just might. I mean, it looks passive, but... It looks passive, but if he doesn't um, keep his bishop on e3, 
where that bishop is also passive. Not that passive, I guess. With a bishop on f8, you're not as afraid of these sacrifices. So there's that. Um, okay. I think he wants to sacrifice. Well, really? I don't think it's all that good. Okay, let's try to find something. If he does sacrifice, I take with a pawn, it's defended. I'm not that worried about it. Um, queen h4, g3, queen e7. I don't think a5 is as good anymore. Um, rook b8 might be a thing. Hmm. About f5. With my rook on e8, it's not as good, probably. So. Queen h4, the queen doesn't have many squares. I better figure out what I'm going to do. Queen c7, no. Hmm. I want to break down his pawns, but very limited options for that. Okay, I'm going to stay solid for now. I have four minutes. Okay. Let's find something. I want to find something. I'm just not seeing anything. Rook b8? It's not that great, though. Okay, maybe, um, well, I wanted to go g6, but I can't. There's pressure on my h pawn. Um, I would like to fanketo my bishop, I think. And maybe bring my rook back to f8, but um, there's issues with that. Yeah, I'm worse. I'm worse. I'm way behind the clock. Yeah, I know you guys are probably tired of me being below 1700, so I might play a bunch of games on my own and get back over. Um, but if you don't mind the journey, let me know. I'll share every game in that case. Um... What if king h7 is a move that guards h6, then g6, bishop g7. Bishop g7 would eye this weak pawn. That's a source of counterplay for me. Oh, I didn't even know he moved. Oh, God. a4. Yeah, b5 is coming. All right, let's go a6. Didn't even think about that, but I have two minutes left. 
Okay, I gotta get serious. Here, take six. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Okay, I'm not taking back, but maybe I should take the rook. I think I will. He gets the A file. Is that a big deal? I think I should move the queen. Let's go here. Now I'm threatening. Oh, he can go B6. B6 is good. I think, yeah, I think you should do that. Okay. Okay, okay. You need something. We're going to try to survive. This is not good, though. Might go king h7. I don't see any active play for me. I'm trying to find something. I mean, f f getting like f5, f4 looks impossible. It really does. Okay, maybe I need to attack d4 at all costs. Let's try that. How do I do that? Trading rooks is really bad for me now. Takes, takes, and he threatens rook a7. So... Yeah, I wonder if like rook e6, rook g6 is a plan. I'm also wondering if he can go queen b2, trade rooks, and try to, yeah, I just saw this. He wants to trade rooks. I'll take with the queen and then he goes b7. Hmm. Pawn is actually pinned right now. Okay, I can do this now. I'm going to do it. Took his queen off of the h6 square.
Okay, come on. Let's get this. Let's get this one. He can use his time to think. Okay, he took. Do I take with a rook? I think so. Takes, rook there, rook takes, queen takes. He's threatening rook a7. If I take, take, he is almost queening. Probably is queening. I won't be able to take in that case, but I can move away. I have to take this way. Mm, this is very scary indeed. I can't figure out how to defend down here. I think he's going to take and play b7. I better reroute my uh, light square bishop. Doesn't look good though, guys. <laughs> It definitely doesn't look good. I, I I definitely misstepped when I allowed that pawn push. I've seen that before. I just didn't see it during the game. That teach me to learn how to play against that C4 move. I'm expecting takes. Takes, takes, b7. Okay, threatening to queen. Probably queen b8 is the only move. And then he needs to attack my queen. So he might go g3 so that he can play this. Yeah. I don't, I think he might go g3. And then I'll go g5. And then h4. But then I hold. That move I did not see. What is that? I don't know how to attack that pawn. I really need to. How do I attack it? I don't have a way to attack it. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. So I'm in a bind. All right, my only hope is to push my pawns. This is actually a pawn majority, this. It's counterplay. It's not, it's not enough to win, but you never know. Here comes that bishop move that I was talking about. If he ever goes here, I go check. Not that that is that great or anything.
I don't have a four. I don't think I do. Because if I if I take with the queen, he queens would check. So I might go king h7 just to get my king out of check. Mm. That's going to be a good move. He's going queen a8. Oh, man. Just don't have a way to deal with this. It says they're going to auto resign. But I severely doubt it. Queen A8 wins, I think. I don't have a um, answer to that. Why is he leaving the game and coming back? Very suspicious. Now, if I move away, he queens, and if I take, he queens. I think he queens no matter what, so... Gonna win my queen. I'll fight on though, because I teach my kids never resign. I expect a queen to be made. He could also take here. Um, okay. Okay, if you want to mate me, you gotta mate me. <laughs> I'm not going to hand you the victory. I don't really have any moves. It's kind of funny. Let's see how he's going to finish me off. Bishop b5 looks kind of good. If I take it, he takes my bishop. That's also good. I got nothing. He could take with a queen if he wants to. It's probably the better move. Yeah. I'm just looking for tricks, but I don't I don't see anything at all. I got nothing. I don't really have any moves. Oh, I ran out of time. Wow. Well, a pretty pathetic display by me. But let's um let's look at it. Where did I go wrong? Um let's look at it without the engine and see. I'm pretty sure that I was fine until I allowed that C5 move. So, like, all this time he could play c5, right? Like, after d4, he could play c5. I just missed this idea. 
Wow, all this time. So I allowed it like three times. We'll see if the computer agrees. Yeah, and here I'm just way worse. He gets this move in. And now these pawns are also strong. I think he played it correctly. Yep, I like his opening. The A file was good. Everything was good. So let's let's see what the computer says. But I think the key moment was allowing that C5 move. Okay, let me make sure it's displaying okay. It is not. Now is it? Not really. Well, it's really not displaying right. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, that's better. That's good enough, right? Not happy about this one. But I'm going to play another game next because I know that I can beat these 1700s. I know that I can. I just messed up something I already knew. Report says I had seven mistakes and played 43% accuracy. Wow. All right. Well, let's go through the, um, wow, how did that get screwed up again? Really sorry about that. Okay, should be okay now. Okay, that's book move. It did not like castles. Oh, because of c5. So I need to stop c5 here. So how should I do that? Um. Maybe I have to play C5 myself. No. He would go queen e2 check. And after bishop e7, bishop takes f4. Mm. Yeah, we have to stop him from playing bishop takes f4. I wonder if g5 is the move. No, it can't be. It's not right. Maybe we have to take then. Yeah, we have to take. And now if c5, he should still play this, by the way. Um, it says rook e8 check. What? It says c5, bishop c7, bishop e5 check, knight c6, queen e2 check, bishop e6. So like this. Um, c5, I, oh, I can play bishop c7. Okay, I get it. Because you need to stop this move. This is basically the source of black's advantage here, or equality, rather. Maybe maybe a little bit of an edge. And if we allow that, so I have to take, and if c5, then I can play bishop c2. Because right now, if I play bishop, if I have to go here, well, I mean like, Okay, after castles, he goes here, I go here, and then this. And, okay, he's going to get this, you know, and this is not good at all. So I really screwed that up. All right, so we, we got that. Rookie ate some mistake for the same reason, I'm sure. I have to take. Let's retry. Yep. 
Same thing again. I should take. <laughs> it's all about not allowing that c5 move and not allowing bishop takes f4. The rest of the game I was just worse, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't like queen d7. Um, but what to do here? I mean, I guess I have to take this. Yeah. I mean, despite that, white's better. But not as better, it says. Wow. I thought if here it attacks my rook. Um, computer likes rook to e6. It says white has an advantage, but it's not so bad. Oh, and so it likes that too. Okay, let's continue. Bishop g7 is a mistake. Okay. Maybe I have to take the rook. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Everything's probably losing, but what's the best um, way to try to hold on? Maybe king h7? I didn't know what to do here. f5? No. g5. Oh, the computer already knows that we have to stop this move. I think that's what's going on here. But, you know, white's plus three regardless. All right. Didn't like this move either, but, I mean, at this point I'm lost. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Bishop there. Oh, we're going to play this move. Interesting. Okay, I didn't see that. That's kind of interesting, but, you know, white's still winning. Okay, well, there's that game. So we're going to do one last thing, all right, because I want to know how I'm supposed to play against this opening, which was kind of one of the sources of my discontent. I don't want this to happen in a real tournament game. So we're going to study the opening a little bit. Um, back to analysis. Okay. So it's after c4 that I don't really know what to do. Now, the opening book says that c6 is the main move, and it scores quite well for black. So cool. I, I found this move on my own, and I've been playing it in blitz games. Now, he should play d4 here. And then here is where I should probably take... So the computer says bishop to b4 is possible. So we can check first. I kind of like this idea. I do. Um, computer says bishop b4. Okay, so we're developing. He can't play this because he's in check. So it does stop that move. And if knight c3, now we go c takes d5. So I like that. And then he will get bishop takes f4. Now we castle. I would think white really wants to castle here. So yes, bishop d3 is the move. Now I would want to play rook e8 check. Okay, that's the move. Let's see what the computer wants. Yep, rook e8 check. I would expect... Um, Wow, I, you know, as a King's Gambit player, I would play King F2. King F2 is bad because of Bishop G4. Instead, he should go Bishop to E5. Wow, I didn't see that move. So Bishop E5, and then I can play Knight BD7. This knight is not going to take its pinned. So I guess this is how a game could go. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, just knowing that c6 is correct and after d4 we just check. And then after this, then we take the pawn. 
Okay, that will avoid any C5 craziness in the future. So, hey, I lost a game, but I learned something valuable that I've been meaning to look at. So, you know, these training games do work. When you get better at chess, this is just a warning to you guys. When you get better and you learn a lot of new things, it doesn't always come up in your games and in your ratings right away. But maybe two or three months later, even six months later, um, you'll suddenly win a bunch of games in a row and hit a new high. So that's kind of how this works. This is a training game. Hey, I'm sipping wine. I'm at home. I was talking through the game. I lost it, but I learned something well, something good. So I'll be back with more videos. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.